So in this video we're going to go over making a barrel. Uh, it's going to be a simple steel drum barrel. Um, this time we're going to go to the crate tab here and we're going to start off with a cylinder. So whenever you select a cylinder there's a few options that you can, or parameters that you can from the set uh, disable or enable. Um, you can set the amount of segments or edges that it's going to have uh, going upwards. Uh, you can also set how many cap segments it's going to have in the top and bottom and how many sides it's going to have. Uh, for the minute I'm just going to leave these as they are and you can see when I draw out my barrel that I do have five seconds going from top to bottom and I also will have 20 edges going around and since I set this to one cap I only have one but I can change it to two if I wish. Um, so with this steel drum uh, I'm going to go again into my Modify tab, right-click Cylinder, and go into Editable Poly. This time I'm going to grab an edge and double-click this second edge down. You can see when I double-click it, it grabs a ring of it. And then I'm going to move that up towards the top edge. I'm going to grab this third edge, and I'm going to bring that down to the fourth edge. Next step I'm going to do I'm going to move my barrel just out of the way of my building for a second. It doesn't matter that the barrel is absolutely massive compared to the house. I can scale that down later on. Um, I came into this view because I want to grab this set of polygons and these set of polygons here. And using this perspective view would be very, very hard because if I tried, uh, more than likely, I would end up grabbing polygons that I didn't want. So that's why I use my front tab or left views. Uh, once I've done that, again I'll go into the settings for extrude, change it to local normal and again set it to whatever extrusion amount that I would like. That seems okay. And again press the tick button or, or the OK button to set that. I'm going to grab my top and bottom polygons. I'm going to go to inset I'm going to click and drag that in just to create a barrier okay so this is going to be the thickness of my drum and then I'm going to click on extrude it's already set to local normal and then I'm going to extrude that inwards and that is how you create a simple barrel or a simple drum